Okay, trying to uh, make a fruit juice, but it's going to be herbal for fruit juice. What I've done is I've been suffering since uh, the 17th of May. I've been suffering with uh, uh, nausea. Uh, I've done all the tests, uh, like uh, the endoscopy, colonoscopy, and uh, uh, what is that bioscopy is it, uh, and then uh, I did uh, my my digestive tract uh, CT scan shows nothing wrong all these endoscopies colonoscopies and uh, bioscopies all uh, showing nothing wrong with me finally the doctor said something is probably I'm um, mentally having some issues, I'm worried about something. I said, I'm not worried about anything, I'm just peaceful. Uh, and I, she, a nice uh, nice woman, a doctor, just, uh, she said she's at a loss to understand, but the last resort is to find out what's wrong with my mind. And uh, she asked me a few questions, whether I have any financial straits or worries or I don't know what, anything, any other worries that's keeping me uh, uh, really, uh, I don't know what it's causing this. Uh, I said n nothing. I, I, I've been through all the worries in my past years. Now I'm retired. I'm kind of taking one day at a time and counting my years or months or weeks uh, to kick the bucket. And uh, she said, no, 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 I mean, uh, I said, if nothing works, uh, uh, you know, give me, uh, give me an euthanasia. Uh, just put me to sleep permanently. She said, no, she shouldn't talk like that and all that. So anyway, all the tests to no avail uh, did not detect anything wrong with me. Uh, one thing I thought my something wrong with, with my head. Uh, thank God uh, the CAT scan showed uh, nothing wrong with my brain either. Anyway, all that is good. So I'm just uh, reading around uh, in the Google and uh, doing my own research about uh, alternative treatment because the Western, uh, what, what is that? Uh, allopathy medicine. Yeah, it's a, they say it's a, it's a traditionally used term for the Western medicine but no longer they use it because it's somewhat, somewhat considered, I don't know why it's a, a derogatory uh, term. So anyway, so the allopathy, allopathy medical system, the Western medical system has, uh, has given me no clue, but I'm still, it's going to be, what is this, July? No, this is August. This is August the 8th or 9th uh, going to be. I think it's the 8th. Yeah, it's the eighth. Uh, but I'm still suffering. So I'm just doing all kinds of things. Uh, if you look at uh, this, uh, what is this? Uh, it's called, uh, in Indians call this garam, uh, garam. They put it as a part of, uh, it looks like cumin seed, uh, uh, cumin, cumin seed, yeah. It's just uh, much smaller than cumin seed, but uh, I think the North Indians call it karam masala. Karam, no, it's karam seeds, but when it put it, when they you grind it and put it in, uh, oh, in the masala mix, it becomes karam masala. Uh, I, the the other term, I think I don't know whether it's Tamil. They call it omam. Omam is said to, uh, it's a high Vedic. Uh, medicine in a sense it is uh, if you have any problems in the di digestive tract digestive tract uh, it'll, it'll cure you, apparently so I bought this I bought all kinds of things these are leaves Kurinja leaves this is called Kadukai I don't know what uh, in English they call it what the, what the hell is this? Tami, Taminala Sedula. Nice name. And then on the other side, I have uh, it's called Sadikai or Jadikai, nutmeg in English. 
I am keeping all this and doing every day something and uh, this is uh, you know what. Uh, I even bought moringa leaves. Moringa leaves, they call it moringa. It's actually um, moringa. We had a massive tree right in front of our house, uh, belonged to us and uh, nobody paid attention. Now they are saying it gives you high testosterone and muscle and it uh, increases your libido and whatnot. But uh, if it's uh, there, the now all the Western countries are buying this and marketing this moringa powder, moringa powder, moringa uh, in Africa and so on. If it's so good, you, uh, I mean, it's, I, I just, uh, the young days I didn't know. We don't even look at it because uh, you don't worry about uh, libido because the libido is 24 hours for no reason. Uh, you don't know why you get 24 hours uh, hard, on, hard on for no reason. That's uh, testosterone and growing ages, teenage and young age. It's uh, sm slowly, uh, I guess, uh, just, like, just like menopause, uh, men uh, have testopause or whatever, after 50, it slowly decreases. When you have high testosterone in your body, uh, it's easy to build muscle. I had, I had no problem. I was, when I do workouts, you know, after two months, bam. I was a chubby kid too, so that's a different. Anyway, what am I making? It's Nelly. Nelly is a herbal fruit. Uh, show what it is. Nelly. It's not a fruit. It's just a, uh, okay. I guess you can see it. That is nearly right. Not so. I hope you can see it nearly. Uh, said nobody likes to eat it because it has uh, like a horrible taste. It's a kind of a, it's a bitter sour sour. It's not a palatable taste. A horrible. Uh, I don't know what, how I can describe nearly, but uh, it's ha nearly no other. For, it's, it's, they call it a fruit, but it doesn't get ripe. It, uh, after some time, it goes bad, but it doesn't get ripe like uh, mangoes and bananas and so on. Uh, Nelly is the, uh, I think even more than pomegranate, uh, Nelly has the highest uh, vitamin C. So what I did, I brought uh, Nelly, a lot of Nelly. This is like about 15 Nelly, you know, Took off the seed, nicely pieces, put it in my grinder. And what else did I do? Ah, uh, lemon juice, I just, uh, without mixing water. And then two big uh, mangoes, you know, ripe mangoes. Uh, so maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I'm not going to mix water. I'm going to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Uh, even doctors are taking it. Some do doctors don't. They they have reservations. Some doctors, if you see use YouTube, so this is apple cider vinegar. You should not take no regular vinegar because the the acidity level is high. This is uh, apple cider vinegar. The acidity level is uh, low. Uh, a lot of people are uh, even doctors. Some doctors are recommending this for. Uh, if you have uh, uh, if you have what uh, uric acid in your see if your kidneys don't clear all these acids and tox toxins it remain it gets into the blood when you have uric acid not uh, excess in your blood it causes a condition called gout horrible condition don't want you want to talk about it it's, it's so horrible and can be uh, it renders you unable to walk where, where you, you can't wear the shoes uh, because it's so painful, it always like uh, what happens is the blood uh, streams, the apple side, uh, the uh, the blood streams, what it is called uh, uh, the the uh, the uric acid becomes uh, crystals. It it doesn't uh, it crystallizes. It crystallizes uh, not like uh, little uh, uh, pebbles or anything. It crystallizes like needles. They say. 
So there were no, those uh, needle type crystals um, formed from uh, uric acid gets into your joints, usually starts at your big toe or some people have it in the little toe, uh, baby toe or whatever they call it and uh, it can become uh, osteoarthritis, it's very painful. So anyways, all that is there. Now, about for my nausea and uh, I'm feeling nauseous uh, and uh, you know, even though I feel hungry, I'm, I don't enjoy food because the tongue has lost uh, the uh, the taste buds are really not uh, something not working. So you feel hunger, but you are not you're disgusted of food. Anyway, so I'm trying to see if this every day I'm doing different things. Hope, pray, and hope this this works. Now let's see. <laughs> enough water content but I don't want to mix water I'm going to use some more apple cider vinegar the water ruins uh, the flavor and the taste it's two big mangoes bright mangoes about 15 nelly and um, lemon one lemon lemon is also said to be high in uh, uh, vitamin C uh, more than uh, lime lemon has a higher vitamin C content anyway <laughs> 